Welcome to another up that 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 God damn it <laughs> By popular demand is another PC related video. This time Armageddon has gave us new PC case and they also wrapped it up. It's one in black and one in white. So the plan is to bring all these parts in there. This one in there. So I'm gonna open this up. Armageddon is so nice to like wrap it up. It's not, it's not really Christmas today. This white. Please be white. Yes, it's white. Is it only me that loves to do this? I don't know, maybe it's only me. So everything is dismantled. We have the 1060, 16 gig of RAM, our PSU, our heatsink, our processor, and motherboard. Oh yeah, we have this optical drive. I'm not gonna really install it, so. Some things that you might need that make things easier is a good screwdriver. Another thing is that if you plan to take out your heatsink, do clean it and get thermal paste. Very important. You cannot just have metal or metal you have to have. You must have thermal paste. One thing that I forgot to mention is you might want to get an anti-static wrist strap. I have never personally used it before and this is an old PC anyway but if you want to be extra safe with the static you have and the PC components, I do recommend getting this. There are actually a few ways to build a PC all with its own pros and cons but what I like to do is to install the CPU and heatsink first because I can do a test on the whole system before putting in a case. So for the CPU, in this case the LG A1155 socket, it should slot perfectly in without any pressure then lock it with a lever there is a bit of resistance there making sure that this part is below this screw next installing the heatsink first dab a little bit of thermal paste if you're using a stock intel cooler there's already thermal paste on the heatsink itself but if you're using an aftermarket cooler do follow the instruction that came along with the cooler and follow accordingly in this case i have to install the base plate before installing the heatsink and fan and do note the fan four pin connectors have to be inserted in the cpu fan header for your PC to run. Next is the RAM. Making sure that it's in the right position, push down on both ends till it's locked at both sides. And if you have a dual RAM kit, do put it in the first priority slot, which some motherboard have. And it's time to put the motherboard in the case. Place the IO shield then. Screw in the standoff screws in these eight places. Here, 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 and here. When I first started out PC building, I didn't screw the standoff in. And the PC actually still works, but every time you move the PC a bit, it will shut down. So do learn from my mistake. Next is to align the motherboard to the screws and screwing all eight sides loosely before tightening each screw. And do make sure not to tighten it too much as it might bend the motherboard and damage your PC. Next, add your GPU to the PCIe slot. Just slot it in and screw it in here and here to secure it. Depending on your case, secure the SSD. Two things you need for your SSD to work is power from your PSU and SATA cable. Next, internal case cable to your motherboard. This is for your case power and reset button, LED lights, audio jack, and your USB connectors. This can be a little tricky for the new PC builders. You have to look at the manual and figure out what are the pins for. If you lost your manual, there are small markings on the motherboard itself. For simplicity's sake, if you see a cable with positive sign, for example, power LED, just place it in the positive power LED pin and negative to negative. Then install your power supply by slotting it in the allocated slot and screw four screws to secure it. Basically, you need to power your GPU, your SSD, your optical drive, if you choose to have one, and your motherboard at two areas, here and here. Now, all you have to do is cable management. This is important because with good cable management gives you better airflow to your components, resulting to better performance. Ah, cable tie is your best friend. So that's basically it. Just close your case and everything should be fine. But I did mention I faced a few problems while rebuilding this. So in short, the 4-pin power connector was not long enough. And later on, I found out that the PCIe slot was faulty. Uh, it's very obvious that this power supply is not meant for a huge case. I think not, this case is not even huge. First problem is this main cable can't even go through the back. So I, cable management is not going to be very pretty. And then one is that the 4-pin connector that's supposed to go on the top left of the motherboard, it can't fit there without, like it can't even go anywhere. I guess I have to take out the graphic card and then slot it because there's a, there's a tiny little gap so I can like sneak through, so I gotta do that. So yeah, I usually have modular PSU which has like long cables. So I don't usually run into these kind of problems. Usually some people you put the P PS 
U connector in and all the main connectors in first but different people different way lah. Apparently my way is not good for this build. So yeah, this is how it works. You look at this cable, it's like barely, literally, it is barely like long enough to fit into the top left of the motherboard. Thank God it does. Because of this, I cannot put anything in the other PCIe slots. If you can see here, no more. It's locked. But um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put two graphic cards anyway. So I think it's fine. Hey, okay. hey, hey, lights. Any lights in the front? We don't have lights in the front, but on top of the light. Mm -hmm. So yeah, got a scale of my life. I don't know what was the problem because I changed the PCIe slot and then now it's working. I don't know whether is it the PCIe or is it the back, the back plate. Basically in the back plate, it was restricting my cables to go all the way in for my uh, display port. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Hope this is helpful. Do give this a thumbs up, share it with someone that you think will find this helpful. You will click here for more. Click here to subscribe. My face to subscribe. Here for more. Nice. Don't don't remember this white PC. So now this is white. That is white. 